Good morning, Falcon Nation. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021, and I'm Mrs. McKenzie. Today we have lots of surprise newscasters for you. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Zinsky, and as you can see, I'm outside in the woods. I'm out here looking for another groundhog. Yesterday, Punxsutawney Phil, he woke up and he saw his shadow because it was a sunny day. So I thought if I came out here, I might be able to find myself another groundhog and see if we could do it all over again. But sadly, today is going to be a high of 33 and mostly sunny. So I think we're going to be stuck with winter for a little bit. But here's a fun fact. Did you know that another name for a groundhog is a woodchuck? So today I challenge you to the woodchuck tongue twister. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So I want you to try to say that. And if you can say it, I want you to say it three more times as fast as you can and see if you can say it all three with no oopsies. So I hope you guys have a fun day learning and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Good morning, Mrs. Miss Slade. And my book recommendation is Ivan, The Remarkable True Story of the Shopping Mall Gorilla by Katherine Applegate. This is a true story about a gorilla uh, that spent most of his life in a shopping mall until a group of people got together and started protesting and saying that this is not right and this is not fair to the gorilla. And it's about what happens to him in his life. I highly recommend it. I will probably read it to my class this week and happy reading. Hey there Falcons. Today is February 3rd and on February 3rd, it is National Carrot Cake Day. On this day, people eat carrot cake. It is healthier than other cakes because it is has vegetables. It ha often can have raisins and walnuts as well. It's actually based off of a carrot pudding that came from the Middle Ages. And back then, sweeteners and sugars were very rare and expensive. So carrots were used as a substitute to make the cake sweeter. Get your carrot cake today. Good morning, Flickinger Falcons. It's Mrs. Kish. I'm here to do today's birthdays. So we have one Flickinger Falcon born on February 3rd and celebrating his birthday today. His name is Donovan. He is in my second grade class. And Falcon and I would like to wish you, Donovan, a very happy birthday. Have a great day. Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Zinsky, aka Pikachu. Today is dress up like your favorite book character. Make sure to show some school spirit, take a picture and send it to your teacher, and most of all, have some fun. Bye guys. Good morning everybody. I'm here to talk to you about some things we can do to show kindness to one another or to someone else, or maybe even to a stranger. So I was really thinking about it. I was kind of racking my brains and I thought, you know what, with the snow and all this snow coming, maybe you have a neighbor who's older, maybe someone like me, that can't get out and shovel their snow as much as they want to. So maybe you say, mom, dad, do you think I can go over next door or across the street and just shovel their sidewalks so that they can walk and won't fall. And I thought that was a pretty good idea, but then I thought, what if your mom is making dinner? She came home from work and she's tired, and maybe she thought, oh, do I have to do this again? But you surprised her, and you went in and you said, hey mom, you need any help with dinner? And I think she would be so shocked that she'd either say, oh no, I'm fine. Or she'd give you a hug and say, oh yes, could you sh sh maybe set the table or stir this or do that? I think that's always so helpful. Being kind doesn't always mean you have to do something. Sometimes you might wanna say to somebody, oh, did you get a haircut? I really like it. it it's really great. Or maybe somebody had on a shirt that you really thought was um, cool. So you say, hey, I like that shirt. Where'd you get it? So those are all little things that you can show kindness for. And maybe you have a teacher and he or she is really special to you. 
Maybe you just want to say thanks. Thanks for helping me. Sometimes that's all a teacher needs. Or if she gives you something special, or if he does, maybe all you have to do is say thank you. I think thank you is such a great word. Why don't you give it a try today? See how many people you can make smile just by saying hi, or just by saying how can I help you, or thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.